Hello there, the Fabled Harpooner here with another Lagombi hunt in the second wave, the Sharp Displaced wave, the Tactical wave. Weapon class of, cho of choice is the Dual Blades. This time around it's going to be the Insect Cutters. Now, while they are the sharpest of the weapons, of the, all the weapon, do of all the dual swords available, they are equal in sharpness to the leader's shotels as you can see here. However, the leader's shotels were chosen in the first wave, the brute force wave, because of its raw damage. And the fact is that the insecticutters cutters were chosen as a random weapon to fill in for the lack of alternative options. Since it was chosen at random and it was fitting to use as a sharpness based weapon, it was moved to this slot, well, to this wave in particular. Otherwise, the leader shotels would have been a better option for both raw and sharpness. But, to keep the variety somewhat, somewhere, in the four waves of each weapon, the insect cutters are here. As with most uh, dual swords, I'll be using the Loggy arm set just to extend the sharpness of the weapon, as it's a weapon that hits fast, fast enough to drain most sharpness to yellow. So, any skill that will boost that sharpness is welcome. Oh, and we have Polisher here. And I think I'm going to go for pop Polisher. And we do get it, finally. Good. So, we go to the quest. And we head out. Now, these weapons come with Dragon Element. We did see that Dragon was not as the best option. was better over ice, so you can expect some damage from it. But don't expect anything spectacular from it. Again, just put these away. Do I still have the items from the... No, put them away. So, you could expect uh, this quest to take a bit longer than the first wave dual swords. Oh, this time I did remember to bring. Well, why didn't I dodge? I'm also a little low in stamina. And I didn't break out from the combo idea. Right I like the crickety sound of these weapons. It's like a mix of uh, cicadas and crickets. And run out of stuff.
Oh, what's right in the middle of that attack, so I can expect less from that. Need to switch back into Demon Ice mode to charge Gage up a bit. Let's get the shiny. I think we're going to sharpen anyway. Some green sharpness still, but should go down in the next section. Good uh, polisher, even if it just reduces the sharpness, sharpening animation to by one sharpening, sharpening, or one swipe. See, every time you get into the area, it just lobs a nice piece at you. You need to move to the side to dodge it. Pretty much no time doing so. Well, time wise, it's not bad time. Five minutes. Nearly 45 seconds, 43 seconds by that time. Stone shot, oh, two there. Still, I think with the other ones, with the leader shotels, was faster. But if I remember correctly, I did it under the five minute mark. So, pretty much the expected result. Same sharpness, slightly, slightly less raw, small amount of dragon element which is not the best element versus the Lagumbi. It's not a bad one. But you have better elements that you could use. Well, if you have the weapons. I don't think there's any fire element or dual blades at this stage. But we'll see when we see that when we get to the elemental stage or elemental wave. Rewards, standard rewards, bloodstones, beast tier. Nice to have always always have extra cash from the quest. So, this has been the Fabled Harpooner. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you next time and good hunting.